Hi everybody, I'm Dr. John DeYard. Welcome to LifeSpot.com. We prove the ancient medical wisdom of Ayurveda with modern science. And today I want to talk about the top 10 reasons to cleanse with ghee, but not just any ghee. I'm going to talk about why culture ghee is so much better. All right, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and you can visit our website at LifeSpot.com to read the entire article, get all the links to the science to back up this ancient wisdom with modern science. And while you're there, please sign up for our newsletter and on your way out, visit our Ayurvedic store. All right, let's get started. So the top 10 reasons to cleanse with culture ghee. So what makes culture ghee so different, right? Well, culture ghee is fermented twice. First, you have to make the, the cultured butter, and then you have to make the actual culture ghee. So when you actually culture uh, the ghee, something magical happens. First, just making ghee is an amazing phenomenon. Wait, you know, when, you're, when you boil off all the milk solids, you're left with the highest concentration of something called butyric acid on the planet. Butyric acid, oh my gosh, is so important for us that inside of our gut we have bugs, one called Clostridium butyricum, that makes butyric acid inside of our gut. It's the, those bugs are the ones that create the, the, the short chain fatty acids that support the health and integrity of, of uh, our intestinal tract, our colon cells, gut immunity, the list which we're gonna talk about here goes on and on and on. Now when you culture the ghee, what happens is the lactate that you make when you culture the lactic acid fermentation actually converts the butyric acid or the lactate into butyric acid. So if there's any residual lactic acid or lactate from the culturing process, that lactate is going to be converted into more butyric acid. So you're getting a much more concentrated dose of the butyric acid, which is the superfood inside the ghee, right? So that's one of the reasons why it's so important. And in the Ayurvedic text, they talk about a thousand different health benefits linked to cultured ghee. And one of the reasons is because you completely get rid of any bad fats that are there. Some of the fats that people question about the benefit of butter is something called linoleic acid. Well, in the same time, when you take the culture ghee, the culturing process create, converts the, the linoleic acid into something called conjugated linoleic acid. And conjugated linoleic acid is a superfood for immunity, for weight loss, and for heart health. We'll talk more about that in a minute as well. So these ferments actually take the ghee and just keep purifying it again to another level and again to another level. So it's just the highest quality of these two extremely important fats, the conjugated linoleic acid and the butyric acid. Now our live spa ghee that we've recently sourced, and I'm super excited about that, um, is um, cultured and it's organic and it's grass fed. And what's kind of really neat about it, it's also vat pasteurized which means that it's not heated like most ghees are to 300 degrees where all the proteins are denatured and broken down and you kill all the bugs that are there. It's pasteurized and heated to 130 degrees, 130, uh, 30, 100, I'm sorry, 145 degrees for 30 minutes. And that actually kills the pathogens but leaves the good bugs alive so you can still get a good lactic acid bacteria fermentation. It's really, really important. The ghee that we use, the milk we use is 60 to 80% A2 milk. A2 milk is uses a certain type of casein that is easier for us to digest. Even though the milk solids are boiled off, that ghee, the, the milk that we use is considered to have more medicinal properties than some of the other milks from different types of cows. The ghee we also use is grass fed and it's grass fed year round. And then, which means that when, you, when, when cows you know, are grass fed, they're eating flowers and weeds and grasses. But in the fall, when the grasses mature and they go to seed, they're literally eating grain. So a little bit of grain in the diet in the wintertime is exactly what a cow should have from its natural circadian rhythms. And that's exactly how these cows were fed. So I'm super excited about this ghee and the benefits of using culture ghee in your cleanses or in your cooking or for any other use you have for ghee, check out our LifeSpa new grass-fed organic culture ghee. All right, so some of the things that ghee does. First of all, it's a natural fat burner. When you take ghee during a cleanse, you take sequentially higher doses of ghee. Every day, a little bit more ghee, a little bit more ghee. That forces every day your body to burn fat, to burn the ghee. Now, if you, and then that gets you into fat metabolism. 
And during the diet of Ayurvedic cleanse, our Colorado cleanse, our short home cleanse, or our Kayakalpa cleanse, you eat a no-fat diet. That no-fat diet could be kitchari only, we call it our mono diet, it could be a kitchari with vegetables, or it can be what we call a poly diet, where you have kitchari, vegetables, soup, salad, fruit, rice, salad, fruit, anything except no added fat. All the fat is taken in the morning. So you get the fat in the morning, gets you into fat burning. If you had fat during your day, you would just burn the dietary fat, and we wouldn't get the body to burn your fat. So the goal is to reset your ability to burn your own fat and detoxify you. And that's one of the really important benefits of that. That ghee also helps to flush your gallbladder, flush your liver, and do so many other things. It's also been shown to support a healthy microbiome. The butyric acid in your intestinal tract has been shown to support the growth, the proliferation of good and better bacteria in your gut. Thus, the bugs like Clostridium butyricum that make their own ghee inside your intestinal tract. It's been shown to support gut immunity. The butyric acid is the fuel for the good bacteria to create an environment that supports gut immunity, which is 70% of your immune response. And your gut health is directly linked to immune health in your respiratory tract. So gut immunity and respiratory immunity are what are called bi-directional. They work off each other. So you have a toxic intestinal tract or digestive imbalances, you're gonna be more vulnerable to the next immune event, which is why it's so critical to not just detox, it's not what this is about, it's to heal and repair your intestinal skin, reset upper digestive strength, support healthy environment of the microbiome to support the gut immunity and resp respiratory immunity that we need now and definitely need in the future as more wild immune events seem to wanna to come down the pike. Also, it's been shown, ghee has been shown during cleanses and ghee alone has been shown to support intestinal health against distress, irritation, and inflammation inside your gut because it's a natural healing agent for the intestinal tract. They actually use butyric acid enemas for many gut imbalances, gut health imbalances. So it's something that's even used in Western medicine in that regard. The ghee also, when you take the ghee in the, in the process of taking a little bit more ghee every day during our cleanses, the ghee is not only going to force your body into fat metabolism, you're also going to drive that ghee into your deep tissues. And there's a scientific description for how the ghee detoxifies us. It's called lipophilic mediated detox, where the fat in the ghee drives into your tissues and attaches to the toxic fats in your tissues. And in one study, doing seven days of the ghee cleanse, like we have in our Colorado Ayurvedic cleanse, was shown to detoxify nine of the top um, environmental pollutants at a rate of 48% efficiency, and eight of the top pesticides at a rate of 58% efficiency. So there's really good science to show that these ghee cleanses will go into pulling out those environmental pollutants out of our deep tissues. And we dump 70 million tons of those toxins in our atmosphere every year that filter around to the water we breathe, water we drink, air we breathe, and the food we eat. Even if it's organic, the air is going to filter those toxins on it. So it's really, really important for every once in a while to get in and shovel all that stuff out. And using ghee is a critical way of doing it. And using culture ghee just amps up the benefits in a, in a sort of a, in a major way. Studies show that the conjugated linoleic acid we talked about supports heart health, weight, and immunity. The grass-fed ghee alone versus the grain-fed ghee when the cows only you know, fed grain, just feeding them with grass-fed increases the conjugated, linoleic, the conjugated linoleic acid content by 500 times. And then when you culture it twice, it takes that up at even a higher level, which is really, really cool. The conjugated linoleic acid has been shown to support healthy blood sugar and liver function and liver detoxification, which is really important because the, the conjugated linoleic acid activates the natural antioxidants that live inside of our intestinal tract to keep the balance the way it needs to be. You know, Ayurveda makes a big deal about detoxifying, not just physically, but detoxing emotional, old unwanted emotional patterns of behavior. It's called Molecules of Emotion, which was written about by Candace Research, Perch, uh, Research, Candace Perch Research at NIH. And Ayurveda, we call it mental ama. And those toxins, emotions are stored in our fat cells 
And when you go in and do that lipophilic mediated detox, you're pulling those impurities out of your fat cells, which is why it's really important to, to understand that, that these cleanses are not just about doing a detox. They're about pulling and getting us rid of old emotional patterns of behavior, resetting digestive function, healing the intestinal environment so you have a good, healthy microbiome, detoxifying the liver and the lymph, and then also pulling the impurities out of your deep tissues. Ayurveda was not about just cleaning your body out. It's trying to understand why you would get toxic in the first place and then doing the repair and the restoration to make sure that you stay healthy in all regards regarding to health, not just detox along the way. So it, it's a really powerful, and in, in the Colorado Ayurveda cleanse and in the Kaya Kalpa cleanse that we have, we have a very specific self-inquiry, emotional you know, detox uh, guidebook that you follow to do the self-inquiry work to kind of to support the detox emotionally that's happening when your body's moving those toxins out of your fat cells. It's just so comprehensive. In addition to that, ghee has been shown to boost stem cells uh, in a powerful way. The butyric acid has been shown to, to boost stem cells. In Ayurveda, that, mean, that means building new stem cells, repairing old stem cells, you know, combating the aging process and the degenerative process. Ayurveda is called Rasayana, and ghee is considered a powerful Rasayana. And we have science now to show that it builds stem cells, which is really cool. So also, the last one, this is the 10th one. And in the article associated with this video, you get all 10 with all the science linked to each of the things that I'm telling you. So it's just not me talking. There's science backed up. And while you're there, please check out the, the research links and also sign up for our newsletter so you get this information every, every week in your inbox. And while you're there, before you leave, check out our Ayurvedic store. Uh, which is full of Ayurvedic herbs and spices and, and different types of things. Um, also, the last one is nutrient absorption. Ghee is what's called a bioenhancer. When you take ghee, it actually helps carry certain nutrients across the intestinal lining into your deep to your blood and into your deep tissues. Ayurveda calls this an anupan. It's a powerful natural carrier. So when you take herbs that we give you during these cleanses and you're taking with ghee, you're driving that herbal nutrition deep into your tissues in a really, really powerful way. So I highly recommend that you take a look at our, our new organic grass-fed ghee and uh, culture ghee, which is like, super cool. And also uh, check out our Ayurveda cleanses, our Colorado Ayurveda cleanse. You can do anytime. It's a 14-day Ayurvedic detox and digestive reboot. Our short oil cleanse is just the four-day Ayurveda cleanse with ghee and kitchari. And of course, the Kaya Kalpa cleanse is a little bit more of a deeper dive, something that is a five-day cleanse that is more aggressive with the ghee and definitely more austere with the diet, something that our seasonal cleansers should look at. But that is also a free ebook for you as well. Both the short home cleanse and the, and the Kaya Kalpa cleanse are free ebooks. You can download them and read about how to do those cleanses on your own. So please check that out, all of that at lifespa.com. I'll talk to you all next week. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Beard. Do you like this video? Don't forget to subscribe and share. This recording is brought to you by LifeSpa, where ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets modern science. Get access to free health video newsletters by Dr. John at lifespa.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.